as you guys can tell, I have my black light on today. The spider web's kind of glowing. Where the orange light is at. See? The orange light. You probably can see it better if I shut this off. See, it's glowing. story. A creepy clown story. So, hope you guys like this video. On a dark winter evening, I was rushing home from the school where I lived in the countryside, and I had to go pretty far from the bus station. When I was walking home, I remember that I left something uh, that I had some candy left in my pocket. I took it out and could see that it was a little red and white candy cane. For one versical reason, I remember myself and uh, that scary clown from my friend's birthday. Chill, chills run down my spine. Although, my dad had told me to not be afraid of clowns. There's no reason for me to be afraid now. Wait, there's no reason for me to be afraid now. I thought while I was walking home alone in total darkness, I tried not to think about the clown, but all I couldn't, couldn't forget him anymore because this clown was living somewhere in my town but I didn't know where exactly I remember cornering I remember in court with the clown was impossible everyone said he was was always wearing the clown outfit and never took it off he always had a clown mask and no one knows who he really was, but most people like the positive vibes of the cheerful clown, so people thought nothing of it, although he seemed a little bit weird at some times. Unlike everyone else, I, I despise the clown. He was so over the top that it made me sick. I was thinking about the particular reason why the candy cane had sounded me of him, remind me of him. I had taken it off the clown when we were celebrating my friend's birthday party, and I regret this action. What if he was still hungry with me? What would he do to people that offense him? I once heard a stranger rumor of a kid who had kicked him. The clown had visited this kid at night. He had been knocking on the window until the kid yelled out to his parents. They called the police. Once the police arrived, the clown was already gone. And no one really know if it was him, if it had been him. Only the kid had seen him, but the kid's parents had barely heard the frightening knocking on the window. After the evening, the kid started to spread the rumors, but no one really believed such a crazy story except me. I believe it for sure. My sixth sense started tingling. The kid was at home on his parents, and I wasn't wa 
was completed alone, was completely alone on his, on this dark road. I start walking faster and kept looking over my shoulder because I was curious someone was following me. Then I stopped and looked around me, but no one was there. Suddenly, I heard the rustle of the old dry leaves. I started, I stared at in that direction until I saw something was really moving there. I start to run. Then I looked back at the same spot and my and my relief it was just a bird reaching for the sky. After this I caught my breath and continued on my way home. But my nerves were on edge. I unwrapped the candy cane and put it in my mouth. My hopes were that it would calm me, but the candy cane was too sweet. It was too much, just as clowns are. I spread the candy cane to the cold winter air that helped more. The first house of my town started to appear in the distance. I could see the street lamp above the house and it looked very airy. I walked under the lamp. It suddenly started flickering just as a horror movie. It made me jump and take a few steps back with a wide grave. I walked around the house until more buildings appeared. I came across some other house which had two mysterious dogs laying outside. They were sleeping, but I walked past the dogs. They all suddenly woke up and ran to the fence while barking loudly. It scared me so much. I lost my balance and fell backwards. I saw their for a few seconds, look at dogs barking angrily at me. My hooding took it off. After I start walking away from the dogs, a few steps later, I look back. Then I could see them turning to sleep position. Finally, I was able to see my house in the distance. Also, the street had better. Illustration here, and the fear left me and my thoughts. I could see the light in the window reflecting that my dad was already home. The key, the door, to the front door in my back pocket, and I pulled it out while running into the running to the entrance. home reached my nostrils, but then I saw something while made me fear back, come back. Strange shoes were left across the hallway. They were the clown shoes. There was also something red which looked like blood. I did not know what to do. Should I run or stay and look? For my dad. After counting for a few seconds, I distanced to look for my dad. I looked at the living room first, then in the kitchen when were empty. No dad. All the rooms upstairs was empty too. Then I suddenly remembered that he had an attic. Is he had attic in which? No one was allowed to go into. Usually, it looked looked bit locked with a big padlock. Which this time, the padlock that 
used to hang from the ceiling was laying on the floor and the door was wide open. Somehow I left. I felt that dad, my dad was up there, overcome my fear and went through the door. The side I saw simply terrified human on the floor, blood flowing from the neck of the candle. I could see almost the whole attic floor was red. All the blood was thick, slippery. I could smell the rotten smell. You probably think that this this head was my dad's, but it wasn't. It was the hand of the little kid who spread the rumors about the clown. Father, in the darkness, I could see the clown from the sounds of... I understood that he was was sledding the rest of the kid's body, popping the bones and getting guts hitting the floor. Made me throw up. I suddenly, out with fear, couldn't move. The killer clown noticed me and turned around and he looked straight into my eyes. I couldn't move. I could look away. Had his clown mask on, but nothing in his eyes seemed very familiar. He came closer and closer. He laid over me and whispered to my ear, I should have thought you, I thought I should have told you earlier that you shouldn't be rude to clowns, that that are human beings too. After all that, you still remember your friend's birthday party. What that candy cane you stole from me good? I hope this because I might have been your last. Now I'm going to teach you a lesson what happens to naughty kids. Son. The clown took off his mask and I was looking at my dad's face. Oh, that's creepy. That was a creepy story, guys. Hope you guys like this video. Or, like, it's so creepy, guys. Like, that was a creepy story. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel. Um,. We'll see you guys into Wednesday's video, so peekaboo, I see you. The creatures are coming to get you. Bye.